Warm bag actually started 2019, the business model of Warm bag. I joined a Plastic Smart Cities hackathon. My idea there was one box at that time. So it's a reusable takeout containers for food establishments. And I wanted to pilot it in USP. However, in 2020, pandemic happened and that was the time we decided to postpone the idea and, you know, take a break. But then that was also the time I was doing online shopping, Lazada, Shopee, name it. Every month I have orders and one day I was riding a jeep in London and I just realized, what if we remove all this bubble wrap, tape, all these things, boxes in our packaging? How much? Plastics would we be able to save and will not go to our landfill. Juan meaning Filipino, so it represents Filipinos and we want to market here, market our Filipino skills, culture, and also uplift the uh, livelihood ng mga Filipinos. So Juan also sounds like Juan. We put it into just one bag, one bag for all things that we need. So in that sense, we are removing other unnecessary packaging and just using just one packaging for our online orders. Juan bag actually is the bag itself for a step-by-step -step process. So we collect plastic packaging, Shopee, Lazada, bubble wraps from consumers. Types of plastics that we accept right now are e-commerce, online businesses, watches, mailers, and then bubble wraps. Then sanitize it. We give it to communities for weaving. For consumers, we are providing it or selling it to online sellers. At the same time, consumers have the option to return the bag for reuse. In terms of operation, right now, we are putting all our efforts in collection plus the product testing. So we have a partnership with an organization in the gig that is employing nanais who will do the weaving and crocheting. So we're collaborating with them. As for the struggles, there are a lot since ECQ is happening and we are collecting the plastics using bikes. So, isa ako dun sa a biker action. We received feedback na they love the idea that using bike kasi magalas yun sa carbon emission din. And at the same time, very specific kasi din yung hinihingi namin, no, which is Shopee, Lazada, Bag, etc. But they were asking if we can also include single-use plastics na meron din sila at home, sachets, ganyan. One bag is just actually one of the many initiatives we have. We're also developing an app, one app wherein we'll be able to have that process digitalized. And also the bag itself, we are planning to equip it with QR code. So using the app, you can just scan it and then you would see how much carbon emission you have saved, how many times the bags have been reused, and who are the people behind. We want to have transparency in our overall product. The app, we want to promote a community saan it's all about practicing, you know, conscious consumerism, practicing community-based relationships, like having your own urban garden, how you know where to look. And then another is from Juan Bag, since we are collecting it by bike, we want to have a drop of points, so we want to call it Juan Bin. So Bin, parang the modern trash bin we have. So it will have equipped with QR codes where you can just put, for example, a plastic bottle and then the machine will already recognize what type of plastic is that. And then we'll have a centralized and digitalized way of collecting trash for every community. This is the time we have to raise our voices and actually talk to our government, talk to big corporations. But it's time that we have to rethink and redesign the way we are receiving our online orders. And that we know where our orders are coming from, who made it, and what's the environmental effects of it.